To the casual observer, echidnas seem to just waddle around and look weird, but new research reveals that these busy evolutionary throwbacks keep Australia's soil nice and healthy. We already knew they were diggers, as echidnas, or spiny anteaters, depend on a diet of ants, termites, worms, and grubs. They spend a lot of time plowing the earth and overturning rocks in search of their prey. But scientists knew relatively little about their lives beyond these generalities. In a recent study published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, a team of Australian biologists unlocked the secrets of the life echidna. They strapped GPS and accelerometer-equipped trackers to 12 short-beaked echidnas and let them run wild. The resulting data filled in a number of details surrounding their bug-sucking, dirt-digging lifestyles. They learned that echidnas boast shorter stride lengths and shorter frequencies than other animals their size, and that their daily activity levels depend greatly on ambient air temperatures, with spring standing out as their busiest season. This makes perfect sense because echidnas have the lowest body temperature of any mammal, 89 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius. They also lack the temperature control of most other mammals, causing their body temperature to fluctuate by several degrees degrees in the course of a given day. As such, they live a little more like cold-blooded reptiles than the rest of their warm-blooded kin and limit their activity during the heat of the summer. But the study's coolest finding was that echidnas spend an average of 12% of their time digging and in the process move a colossal amount of soil. One of the researchers predicts that the dozen specimens tracked in their study collectively move an Olympic-sized swimming pool's worth of dirt every year. In this, they aerate and mix the Australian soil, and since they're one of just a few surviving native Australian burrowers, they're not just a biological oddity, they're a true keystone species. Though to be fair, echidnas will always stand out as a little bit odd. Only four species remain, spread out across the long isolated ecosystems of Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Like the platypus, they're egg-laying monotremes. And they also seem to exemplify a chimerical blend of anatomical features. The spines of a porcupine, the toothless beak of a bird, and the pouch of a marsupial. But if that wasn't enough, the wonderful and weird echidna also lives up to 50 years in captivity thanks to their slow metabolisms. Females lack through milk patches in their pouches, while males are somewhat famous for their four-headed penises. The males are also known to sneak into burrows to mate with hibernating females, which is a departure from the so-called mating trains they employ the rest of the time, in which a line of male suitors simply follow a female around for up to six weeks. And if that still wasn't enough, they also play host to the largest fleas on the planet, which are 0.15 inches or 4 millimeters in length. Echidnas are cute, sure, but it also makes sense that we name them after the Greek mother of monsters. The natural world is weird, and if you want to learn more about it, be sure to check out now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.